Hello everyone, it's Nancy Bastine and I'm going to paint some Tyvek envelopes for covers, for journals. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So I have these envelopes. You've seen them a million times. I'm still working on the same box. Let me go see if I can get that box and I'll show you. My box has kind of gotten squished, but this is what I bought, and it was thir 10 by 13 Tyvek envelopes, and I bought them at Staples, and there was 50 envelopes in this box, and don't ask me how much I paid for it. I think it was close to like $30 or something like that, and I know you can buy the sheets that are a little cheaper so anyway I wanted to show you that because a lot of people have asked me where I get my Tyvek envelopes and this is where I get them is from Staples okie dokie I'm going to set that down today I'm going to use um, I think I want to do orange and yellow and I'm going to apply it with a baby wipe it's just easier on this kind of paper so, let's see, I have Tangerine, Canyon Orange, or Tangelo Orange, and I'm not sure which one I want to use. This one has more pink in it, and this is Tangerine. This one is more of a red, and I don't know what this one is. What the, I can't see the undertones on that one. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the middle one. And then, for the yellows, I have Banana Cream, and I have Sunshine Day. And I think, I'm almost out of the sunshine day, but I think I'm going to go with these two. Okie dokie. So what I'm going to do is, I've already shaken these up, but I'm going to do it a little bit, bit better. I'm just going to plop some of this on here and move it around with the baby wipe. And I've got kids... Uh, scribble newsprint underneath here to get me a good drop sheet going. Yes, I do. Oops. Get a little bit of that on there. It doesn't take long for this to dry on this Tyvek. If you spread it thin. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to do the yellow. And I don't think I need to change my baby wipe just yet. Smear this around. Maybe I got too much yellow. Now I need some more orange. I want you to know I'm in my basement and it's nighttime. It's 7:30, and I'm never in my basement this late. But I didn't get going today until 4 o'clock. I didn't get dressed or anything until 4 o'clock. So I'm going to go back in with a little more orange now. So my day was kind of shot. I can say that for sure. Alright, I think that looks good on that side. Now you can't blow. You can't dry this with a heat gun because it will melt. Remember my, my, I don't have them here to show you. 
my beads that I have a video on that melt and get holes in them. So you can't put a heat gun on this, so you just have to kind of let it do its own thing. But I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the back. Now I uh, glued the flap over. So I'm going to see what's on this baby wipe here before I put any more paint on. And I think I'm going to go with a different color orange. That one has like too much pink in it. I don't know. I need it. I want a darker orange. I can't remember which orange I used on this one. And I love I love this color of orange. It doesn't show very good on the video, but I just love that color of orange and I can't remember which one I used. But I'm going to get this one out of my little cart over here that's um basic or Amsterdam or something. It's in a tube. And I'm going to try it. Hang on, I'll be right there. Oh, it's Amsterdam. And it's that orange. So I'm going to try this and that looks pinky too, doesn't it? Oh well. Okay, that's a little better. Now I need a little more yellow on this side. I'm going to go with a different color yellow too. Hang on. I'll be right there. It is Naples yellow. It's a little darker. I'm going to try that. I'm not sure I like that. I like the brighter yellow better. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot me now, shoot me now. Let's see. I'm still going to put, maybe I'm going to try this orange, this Tangelo. And see what that does. Let me get a new baby wipe out here. I got one. Oh my goodness. We're getting all kinds of different tones of oranges. Maybe I should have used my other paints. But oh well. That's good enough. Good enough. So I'm going to set this aside to dry. I went to the dollar store the other day and I bought a, a dish drainer. And that's really good to set your papers in to dry. Okay, I'm going to put these to the side and get out some new ones. I want to do another one. Well, that one's drying. Not orange and not orange and yellow though. I want this one to be purple and teal. Oh, what happened to my teal paint? This is peacock. Okay, this one will work. I'm going to turn this over just in case it might have some residue paper or paint on it. I might see that got on my tie back right there. Well, let's do teal and this is grape juice. Let's do teal and grape juice. Peacock teal and grape juice. That sounds really good. 
That sounds like a drink. Take that little crusty thing off. Ooh, I like that feel. Got the purdy purdy. I'm going to use these, I think, I don't know, for journal covers, I think. Betsy Doodle does them all the time for journal covers, for flowish journals. And so I thought I might try that. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of purple on here. I'm going to use a new wipe, different wipe for each one. Maybe not put so much paint on. Because I like the... Yeah, I like the... Uh, The design the Tyvek has in it, and I think I covered that up so much with the other paints. Yes, I like that. This is a Claudia Rossi color. She loves teal and purple. Okay, I'm going to do it on the back side. I'm going to put purple down first and then teal on top. See what we get there. I probably could put it on, you know, at the same time, but I want undertones. Yeah, this looks good. I'm going to have a pretty drop sheet. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm really scrubbing that into that Tyvek because it just kind of sits on top of this. Okay, here comes the teal. I tried just a little bit because I got a lot in my baby wipe here. That looks good. That looks really good. See, that's almost dry. But this one is not because I put a lot of paint on that. Oh, well. So now what I want to do is I'm going to hold my Heat gun way up high and see if I can just get this to dry just a little bit. Okay, what I want to do is I want to put some of this iridescent interference. It's interference, and I think it's a lot like iridescent, but I want to paint it on just to see if it's going to work and make it shiny. This is a cream iridescent because I didn't want to, or interference, I didn't want to interfere with any of my colors. 
but I want to put a shine on it and I've never used these interference oh yeah that's putting a shine right on it beautiful let's do the back side see that side see this side see the shine it put on it these are DecoArt Media, Media Fluid Acrylics and it's Interference Cream. I really need to get out my fluid acrylics and use them more. I've had them for, what, two, three years now? That looks good. I'm going to rinse out my brush so it doesn't sit in it. Okay. Now I want to stencil this kind of I'm gonna wave it wave it in the air and see if it'll get dry. This side's a little sticky. Let me see if I can hold this up and dry it a little drier without melting it. I would be really sad if I melted it and put a hole in it. See, this is going to fold onto a journal like so, or I could cut it and make it smaller. So, I guess it doesn't matter which way your stencil goes, but I want to use this new stencil of mine. And I want to use my PBOs, and I got to, I'll be right back because I want to check out and see what color I want to use and I don't need to hang you on here for me to look at paints I'll be right I'm so indecisive I have this this is iridescent green blue this is iridescent blue green they're just a little bit different I don't know if I want to put that much more green on it or I have this violet blue and I think I'm going to do the violet blue I'm going to stencil with that and it's still just a little bit wet but it's going to have to it's going to have to be that's what it's going to have to be and I'm getting a little bit of palette paper here the paint on and fold this in fold it and I should cut it in little squares because I don't need that much I could save a lot of this palette paper if I just would fold it or cut it Alright, now I probably need a little thing like that to hold it still. And I think I'm going to go ahead with this P 
PBO in this color. If it ruins it, it ruins it. What can I say? Oh, that's a lot of paint, but I got to do both sides. So move these out of the way. Is everybody able to see? I'm going to do this medallion. And I'm going to do it all over the all over the yeah the envelope you know what I'm saying all over the envelope the envelope guys the envelope Okay, I don't have any stories to tell, but I need to know. I need some advice, guys. I have some wild squirrels. I think all squirrels are wild, right? That like to. Now is the time. Somewhere in this neighborhood, somebody's got a. Um. walnut tree and these squirrels are getting the walnuts and they're bringing them up on my front porch and digging it around in my planters to bury their their nuts well that's okay but they're leaving behind piles of poop Oh, that's pretty. See how pretty that turned out? That's really pretty. All right, don't get everything in that pile of paint, Nancy. So anyway, they're leaving big old piles of poop. And um, I, it's, um, I'm going to move it over here because let that dry a little bit. And it's, like rat poop but it's bigger I don't know anyhow it's I looked it up on the internet and it's very toxic you, you're if you're gonna clean it up you're supposed to wear a mask and um, not sweep it up with a broom that you're gonna be using in your house I mean it, it gave me all these things to not doing especially with Wes and I's immune system both of us have pretty bad immune system with his with cancer and mine with autoimmune dis disorder I have autoimmune syndrome so I have a lot of things wrong and so I don't know what I should do if I should have somebody else come and clean it up or I don't want to just leave it out there on the porch. It's nasty looking. That's really pretty. But I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to move back down here. In this corner. And, you know, we're renting the house. So I can't just... And I don't want to hire somebody just to come and clean up poop. They'd probably just sweep it up and cause, you know, all kinds of... She does have Terminix that comes to the house. Now, I probably could call them and see if they would come out and clean it up. It's all over on my back patio where they sit and eat on their nut and then they bury it and I know they're getting their stuff ready for winter but come on I leave my patio and and I know they're gonna be back once you get it cleaned up they're gonna come back again they don't just go away when you want them to go away 
and this is the worst it's ever been I I know there was a little bit of it last year and I didn't know what it was but when I saw the nuts they were putting burying nuts in my swing on the in the pad of my swing outside on the front porch and I noticed that my big planter that I had tomatoes and stuff in I just pulled the toma tomato plants out when they died and set the pot over I wanted to keep the dirt in it so the wind wouldn't blow my pot away and I noticed there was these piles of doo doo everywhere everywhere so I figured it must be squirrels I don't want to get in there so I'm going to bring it down a little bit so I don't uh, I don't want to mess up my other stencil here can you see probably not because I'm on this part of the paper well anyway that's my story about the squirrel poop now I don't know if it's just a little you know a small amount like I have that's real toxic or if you get like big piles of it like in, if they get in your attic or basement or something like that where they're taking up residency I don't know but with our immune system I don't want to take that chance of you know what I mean guys I don't want to take that chance of getting sick from it those dirty rotten animals those dirty rotten animals they need to go away no oh, it's nature they need to be in nature alright I got that side done I'm gonna set this away to let that dry and I'm gonna kind of wash off my stencil a little bit show you what I'm going to get on this nice paper I have here. It's drop paper. Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, now with the orange one what am I going to use on the orange one? Well, the orange one's got to have some iridescent put on it, or interference put on it, whatever it's called. And I think I'm going to use PBOs again. But I don't have a and I'm going to use this elephant on it and maybe some of these smaller mandala. I'm going to set this over here. Pull this out. Oh, it looks, it looks okay. It looks pretty orangey. Kind of sticky. I'm going to blow it a little bit. the iridescent interference on it but let me go check out I'll be right back I'm gonna check out some paints to go on this alrighty well I got um, fluorescent yellow 
or I have iridescent gold. And I don't know which one will show up. I know the gold will. But I'm going to try this yellow. But first of all, I'm going to put this stuff on it to make it shine. So how has everybody been? It seems like I cannot get going in the mornings anymore. I don't know if I'm going through a little bit of depression or just right down laziness. I don't even want to clean my house anymore. And that's not like me because I'm a clean freak. But it has been weeks, weeks that I have cleaned my house. I'm not kidding you. And I'm I'm just appalled at myself. I'm so embarrassed. And I never would let one dish sit in my kitchen sink. And I haven't done dishes. The dishwasher is loaded with clean dishes. I don't feel like, I don't know, guys. Tell me, is it depression? Now, I know when I went through the depths of hell with depression a few years ago, a few years ago, it's been quite a few years ago, um, starting in 88 through 90s, and yeah, I was in the depths of hell. That's when I started. My mother passed away in 1990, and um, my childhood uh, memories started coming out that I had buried. And oh my gosh, when they came out, they came out in full force. Yeah, full force. But anyway, so... I don't feel like that, but I just don't feel like cleaning. I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like getting up in the morning. I stay up all night and watch YouTube videos, laying in my bed with my laptop. Wes has to sleep in a hospital bed because he can't go up the stairs because his lungs. And so there you go. Um... I'm missing my kids a lot, a lot. I'm really missing them a lot. And I I think I'm really mad at myself because um, I have no more savings. Um, so I don't have money to go um, out to Utah to see them. And that's weighing on me quite a heavily because I just don't have any backup now. <sighs> I wish I would have. You know, if wishes were fishes, we'd all have a fry. I just wish I would have handled that money. It was a... Now that's taking my paint off. It was money that I got from my dad when he passed away. Quite a substantial amount of money. And I went through it. Well, I have things to show for it. I mean, I did buy all the furnishings for my house when we moved because I didn't have anything to, not a pot to pee in, you know. Didn't have any cookware because we lived with his mom. We didn't have any furniture, but we couldn't live there. I couldn't stand to live there anymore with his sister there. And so the only thing we had was a bed. A bed and a dresser and our computers with computer tables that's all we had and drums and a stereo set so Wes has been trying to sell a couple sets of his drums he hasn't tried really hard I'm talking to you trying to get this dry so I can flip it over and anyway, yeah, that's been weighing on me real heavy. and I think that could be part of the problem. I'm going to blow this dry a little bit.
I think while I was sitting here drying this, thinking that it was sticky, that maybe, oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I found these words at the Dollar Tree, and they're on gold paper. I haven't opened them yet, so I don't even know how many sheets you get in here. But anyway, they're just kind of words, like Tim Holtz words. Now there's two sheets of them. And it, I, I want to read them to you because some of them are really funny. It says, oh, don't do that. Okay. Yippee, love, good job, foolish. It's a wonderful day, always, together for E. Let's party, okay? Hello, hugs and kisses, happy day. Whatever, beautiful, love, hey, blah, blah, blah. Just do it, dream, awesome, hooray, fab, be happy, forever, let's do it. Wonderful, wonderful, so fun, oops. Keeper, oh, snap, so warm, okay, fabulous, smile, shake it off, delight, yum, thanks, sweet love, bye-bye, hi, you are. Hi, you are the best. One of a kind, fantastic, amazing wish hugs. Happy, good luck. I love you. Oh, well. Done. Be creative, lovely, darling, elegant. High five. Joy. You are beautiful. Best day ever. Be nice. Lucky. Yes, everything today. A wonderful trip and laugh. And I thought it said, um, I must have read it wrong, but I thought it said, um, whatever yeah it does there's one that says whatever whatever anyway I thought these would be fun to use on journal things yeah yeah okay anyway I thought I'd put a butterfly on this page also stencil me a butterfly and I think this is a pretty one this one is a um, deco art. So I'm going to put a couple of butterflies on here. And this is really sticky on the other side. I must have put too much on there. And... Um, I have this thing too for paint, but I don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of that. Put my paint thing over there, and we're going to do it with this color of fluorescent yellow and see what it does on this paper. Oh, by the way, I just... After I get used using these, see so you see there's different colors on them. I just plop them in a, a cup of hot water and a little bit of uh, hand soap and let them sit in there maybe overnight and then take them out, rinse them out, and I store them in a bucket like so. And then they get dry in this bucket with holes in it. And yeah, you can use them again and again and again. So, shut up, Nancy, and, oh, I shouldn't say that word. Be quiet, Nancy, and start stenciling. Start doing your thingamabeeb. See, I get giddy at night. I'm going to see if this is going to show up. If it's not, we're going to go back. We're going to go to gold. I think we're going to go to gold. It's not showing up like I wanted it to on this paper. On this orange. See, it's not showing up. It's very opaque. See that? I want it to show up so I'm going to take a baby wipe and wipe that off while it's still wet because you can do that see that you can do that with Tyvek and 
and clean this off a little bit. I didn't clean it off last time. I, I don't usually clean my stencils. I'm not I'm not a clean freak for that, but oh my gosh, I there was no dust in my house. None whatsoever. But there is now. Let's see, what am I gonna do with this? Let me see. I shouldn't have cleaned that off. I will put it on this paper. Because it'll show up on here. And I'll do this little four leaf clover and this little, yeah. And I'll get rid of that paint. Okay, it showed up on that. I'll get rid of the paint out of here. All right. Now I'm going to wipe that off again. Okay, now let's get going here. Let's do the gold. And see if that shows up. You know, blow this. So it doesn't get on the back of my page here. See this pretty paper, drop paper I'm going to have? And I, I love this newsprint. I used to buy the ends of newsprint when they had newspaper places that used to actually sell you a newspaper every day. I used to go ask them for their ends of their rolls and they'd sell it to me for like Oh, a couple of dollars and I mean there were rolls that big around and they had a lot of paper on them and they were long real long about six feet long because I could cover a whole table with one one swoop I'm gonna try just a little bit of this see if it's gonna show Okay, people, I'm going to have to put you down here a little bit. Oh, come on. I want it to go in that corner, but... This doesn't show up. I'm going to go with black. You know, that'll look like Halloween. I don't want black. This is not going to show up either. Might have to go with the dark orange. With the darker orange. That's not showing up either, guys. Look. <sighs> you can't even see it. Can you even see it on there? How poo poo poo. Poo 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 poo. That's not funny. <sighs> what am I going to do now? Huh? Come on. Holler at me. Tell me. What goes with orange? Does, how about this blue? Well, that might look really pretty on there. You can't see this blue. I gotta wipe this off before it dries on here. Hmm. I think I'm going to try that blue. You know, one thing I'm snagging my... I'm snagging my... 
I need to put another sheet of this paper down. I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to go with the blue. This is the last attempt I'm going to do with this. I swear, I swear, this is the iridescent blue-green. And that's what we're going to go with. Because that's what I said so. And I think this will show up. Oh yeah, it does. Certainly does show up. Whether it looks gross or not, I don't know. Oh no, that looks good. See, that's what I wanted. Pretty, pretty. Okay, I'm going to put these in each corner. The butterflies in each corner. to get some more paint out. I'm so glad you guys stick with me through thick and thin. It makes me so happy that I know I have friends out in the world. Where am I getting that other blue on there that's kaka getting all over? Where am I getting this from? No, I just ruined that. Take it all off. I want to know where that's coming from. Why, oh, why, oh, why? This is a dry baby wipe. And I'll dry that off on that side. Maybe I'll. Can you flip these over? I'm going to use it on that side. Nah. Okay. Let's do this again. I'm getting tired and bored. Maybe I should use a smaller sponge. I don't have any smaller ones. These are all I have. Okay, this better come out. Okay, that one came out nice. That one came out really nice. Okay, okay, let's get over here to this corner. Let's 
see what we can do over here. I like this butterfly stencil. It's really pretty. See, where am I getting these smudges from? I don't understand. Oh, I think I know. It's coming from... See, my thing's too big and it gets down into the other portion of the... <sighs> stencil. Have to be more careful. I'm going to cut half that butterfly off. Okay. I'm going to be very, very careful how I go around this butterfly. All right, let's see if that one did better. Yep, that one did better. Now, let's set this over here. I can wash this off. Because I'm going to use it on the other side. And I don't want it to have any boobers on either side can get on my page okay let's set that over there to dry now we're gonna come in with hope that's dry because I was seeing that it was coming off on the back page Okie dokie. Let's do the elephant. Uh, I got yuckies on my hand. I think this elephant is so cool. I smell popcorn. My husband popped popcorn. Should I do it in a different blue? This one's green blue and this one's blue green and they are just a hue, different hue. I'm going to try it. If I screw it up, I screw it up. Let me get this brush out of my way. Sorry, guys, I'm all over the place tonight. I'm gonna cut this off. And set it over here. And we'll use this one.
probably thinking I probably should have used the orange. But that would be monochromatic, right? Okay. I'm going to get a different sponge. This one's more of a real greenish. Here we go, elephant. I should probably be using my stipple brushes, right? <gasps> Look how cool that is. Look how cool that is. That's so dang cool. Stipple brush. Here comes the stipple brush. Now, there was a girl on one of my, um, I'm going to wipe this off a little bit. There was a girl that got on my comments one time when I was doing um, brushes like Shannon Green, and um, she told me then to take my stipple brush and t uh, squish all these places around it, and the things wouldn't come out. The hairs. So let's hope that's true. It seems to be working. There's no give in the brush. Maybe I tightened them too tight. I'm not sure I like that. well as I do the sponge. <gasps> I'm loving that. Are you guys loving it? You loving it? Should move some of my bottles of paint so I can move this up further.
Here we go, and I'm being really quiet because it goes on better when you're quiet. If you don't talk, then it can't hear you. If you're real quiet, then it goes on a lot better. Just kidding. Oh, I like it. We got to do one more over here. It's getting blue everywhere. Oh, I don't want it. Oh, well. I'm glad I made this blue choice. I think it's nice. I heard you guys yelling at me, blue, blue, blue. Do blue, Nancy, do blue. It will show up better. When you get to the last one, you pretty, pretty much got them down. <gasps> that is beautiful. Full. Isn't that gorgeous? Pretty, huh? I'm going to put that to the side to dry. Because I want to do some of the little mandalas. But I don't want to ruin my elephant. And I want to go back to this other one we have over here. Cool elephants, huh? Okay, that's got to go over here. No, I got to have it. I got to put this paint somewhere. Bring this one back out. These need to go in the water. So they don't dry out. This needs to get dry. I don't want blue on the back of my my purple. Okay. Now, where's my purple? Now, do I want to put one more mandala in the middle? Or, shoot... Or do I want to put an elephant in the middle? How about a pink elephant in the middle? <laughs> Get it, pink elephants. We're doing a pink elephant. Well, it's a violet. It's violet. Violet, pink. Whatever. I should start doing live videos. Who wants me to start doing live videos? Please let me know in the comments. Because I don't want to go live and then nobody show up. And come to the party. You know. I guess you take your chances. When you go live. I'll have to figure out how to do it. Uh, 
All right. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. I love that. That is going to be gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous on a, it's a book cover. Should have turned it. Oh, well, I should have turned it here and then here, you know, but I didn't. I didn't, so guess what? I think I'm going to do elephants all over the back, but this has to dry. So I think what I'm going to do is call it a night for right now and let these dry, and I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll just add on to this video or we'll start a new one. I'll just start a new one and we'll do the backs tomorrow. How about that? Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please share me around to everybody so YouTube knows that I have pretty good content. Content. And what else? comment yeah I need comments on if you want me to go live tell me if you want me to try and go live and then the stream can be longer than these videos because I always have long videos and I know people get tired of watching them and they just they don't watch them to the end so if you prefer live then let me know all right Thanks, guys. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.